Hi, my name is Dex from Microsoft and today we'll be looking into how we can actually create a supplier in SQL Accounting. So for us here, we always believe that we need to reflect our accounts properly. We should always split our suppliers to two different categories, one for trade and one for non-trade. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is come here to GL, come here to maintain accounts. Alright, so from here we can actually come here to your current liabilities. So we can actually split out trade creditors and other creditors. So trade creditors are relating to your purchases. Other creditors are always relating to other things that is not relating purchases such as like uh, Tanaga National for your utilities, uh, your landlord for your rental, things like this. All right. So once we actually have created these two groupings, we can close this and then we can come here to supplier here to actually create our new suppliers. All right. So we press maintain supplier. So for this example, let's say we want to create a supplier called Shabas. We come here to new. We type here Shabas. Right. So how are we going to control it and how are we going to put it to non-trade? So here we have control account here. Here we can actually click here and we can change it to other creditors. So once we press other creditors, you can see the number. The new code is 405, which is related to your non-trade. Alright. So then you can actually key in all your other details like address, phone number, uh, fax number, email address, credit terms, all that. If not, then we can just press save and you are ready to create new purchases for Shabas. Alright, so this is actually how easy it is to create a new supplier in SQL Accounting. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. Thanks.